How about this? Hold on to my wrist and I'll show you something. So, leverage with wrist. And you can't really hold on to me, right? Okay. And I could I could give you one of those. <laughs> okay, gang. So we this we are scaring the hoes away, gang. This is what they mean. You're frightening them, bro. They're frightened. If you had to pick a food to describe your sex life, what food would it be and why? But it would be something. It'd be something spicy, huh? Wet and messy. <laughs> I'm barely making it through this video, bro. Like some shit just, some shit just be uncalled for, bro. That's all much slow. Yo, YouTube, what's going on, y'all? It's Mitch, and I'm back with another video. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see consistent Mitch in the chat, bro. Come on, like this the most consistent I've been in months. But hey, bro. So I'm saying I'm gonna start this video by saying I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in my videos, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff y'all do not have to do. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all know in my heart beat is being for y'all, bro. I really appreciate every single one of y'all. You right there, I appreciate you for watching my videos, bro. It means so much to me. It means more to me than you could ever know. Like, seriously, bro. I love you, gang. But, hey, today, I got a button video. I ain't react to the button in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe on the video. Hit that bell. So you'll see every single time I post. So, I'm saying? Comment, hashtag, roll to 60K in the comment section, man. It's real on the way. She gets serious, though, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all enjoy the video, and I'ma stop all that talking, and I'ma get right into the video. On this episode of The Button, the two holding rooms will be able to watch live feeds of our dates in the studio. You know, I'm a Scorpio. Me. I'm nasty. Let's see what happens. Right, shut up. Happens. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. My name is Reed. Reed, I'm yeah. Shay. Uh, I can't lie. I'm so <laughs> nervous. Like, they're watching us, you know? I, I was going to say something about his shag, his haircut, but I really can't. I ain't going to lie. Me having the hair that I do, I don't think I can talk about nobody else's hair. Let's be together. You know? so, Inhale. You know. Exhale. Exhale. Yeah. Uh. Fun fact about Shakira, she likes to fight and she's a mom. Oh, you be beating your kids? <laughs> no. Those are the two facts you gave the button that you like to fight and you're a mom? Like, anyone who says they like to fight, I think you're lying, bro. Like, no one actually likes to fight. You like to win fights, I guess. Maybe you like the feeling of winning a fight, but you don't like fight. Fighting is not fun, number one. And you're so sore after you fight. Anybody who fight know that, like, bro, the next day when you wake up, you're going to be so sore after you fight. I feel like your body just be moving in ways it don't ever usually move. Like, your joints be jerking and, like, you be jolting. Like, you be really unlocking strength you didn't even know you had. That next day, you're going to be so sore you can barely even walk, bro. Anybody who's been into a fight knows that, bro. Like, who likes to fight? I feel like if you do like to fight and you're grown as hell, you need to let that go, bro. Let trying to be edgy, let all that go, bro. Talking about you like to fight and you're grown as hell with a family, bro. Oh, you beating your kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think whoopings are abuse. Like. Wait, do you agree? You think whoopings are abuse, but you like to fight? What? Uh, I have a terrible saying. I, I beat children. I'm you sorry, beat children? But I have no kids. <sighs> Huh? First of all, he said I have a terrible saying as in like, he says that a lot. And then he said I don't have any children. So whose kids are you talking about? And if you don't even have any kids, like why is that a, a saying of yours? Even if you do have kids, why is that a saying of yours? Put this nigga on a list. I need somebody to watch this nigga every move. Where does he go like at night? Like what does he do for fun? It's the time of the day when nobody sees this nigga. Nobody knows where he is. I need to know where he is. Where does he go? Like, who is this nigga, bro? Niggas get in front of a camera and just start tweaking, bro. I'm telling you, it be when niggas know they're going to be online in front of millions of people, niggas just start talking. They just start chatting. He's either lying, he does not ever say that, which makes it even crazier that you like lied about that. Like, somebody I have a terrible saying. Like, I, I say this multiple times a day. What are you saying that in response to? Like, what's what's garnering that response, bro? Let me say you That sounds bad. <laughs> a little bit. I uh, I actually like never really hit a child. What? He's a hundred percent lying. But like, why that lie? What made you say that lie, bro? What made you talk? Some niggas just need to never say nothing. It's some niggas that just need to be nonverbal, bro. Like some niggas just can't be around women, bro. 
Like, I done known some people like that. Whenever girls used to come around, these niggas used to just start chatting, bro. Like, just chatting. Like, you just looking at this nigga like, you're just lying. You just lying and no one even believes you, bro. Like, at some point, you don't hear the words coming out your mouth and get up. This nigga should have buttoned himself. He said, I have a horrible saying, I beat kids, but I don't have any kids, but I've never actually hit a kid. Like, do you think I'm stupid? What did that even mean? You're just nervous as hell. You're so nervous. He's sweating profusely. He's dripping sweat. They about to have to swim out of there, bro. But, but you believe in it is what you're saying. Yes, okay. when I okay. have children, that's, okay. that's big. Okay. You know? That's big? Are you serious? You're still talking? At some point, you don't, like, say nothing else? I don't even know what to say, bro. It just all goes back to that, bro. I keep telling y'all, some niggas don't need no time off of work, bro. Some niggas need to work 24-7, seven days a week, bro. Some niggas don't ever need to leave. Because stuff like this happens when niggas are not at work. You can only be at the button if you're not at work. If this nigga was at work, this would have never happened, bro. And don't let this nigga have no kids. Ooh. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Why, why, why? Why? Maybe because you said you got a saying, you you love to say you, you, you beat kids, but you don't have any, but you've never actually beat one. But when you have kids, you're going to? That was an insane discourse, bro. That was an insane couple of words. And look at him. Look at the smile on his face. I don't even think he realizes what he's done. <laughs> what do you mean why? It just felt like I needed to, to be honest. <laughs> Because, buddy, I, I, I've been through something that was off since i seen this green. I don't think there's no reason you should own a, a green hoodie. I own a green hoodie. I own a green hoodie. I be wearing it in my videos sometimes. But it's it's forest green. You know, this is this is almost closer to neon green. I feel like you should never own any neon. I have some neon clothes. I have on some neon pants right now. I don't fuck with that. Me neither. Thanks for understanding. You're hell though, okay? Let's calm down because he was nervous, first of all. He was lying and he was nervous. That he was lying, bro. He was lying. He, but you were not. You were talking about you like to fight and you got to kiss your grown ass. You need to shut up, bro, because you're really on the edge of the plank. I'm about to make you jump the plank. Oh, my gosh. That's like a pirate thing. They be making niggas jump the plank. N nigga, nigga like me would not be jumping the plank, nigga. I don't care. I'm not jumping the plank, gang. No, y'all gonna have to, y'all gonna have to murk me on the boat, bro. I'm not jumping the plank. I don't care what I did. Walk the plank is insane. Like, niggas gather around and watch you walk the plank into the ocean is crazy. Yeah, but you, you better be glad I'm not a pirate. And we're not pirates that we're not on a boat. Because I would make you walk the plank for that shit. <laughs> what? What am I talking about? If we were pirates and we were on a boat, I would make you walk the plank. And that's why I don't, I'm not, I would never go on nothing like this. That's why I would never go on the button. Because I would be on the button saying a whole bunch of bullshit, bro. Talking about walking a damn plank on the button, bro. Button. So, hi. I didn't want to interrupt your with the button. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing. <laughs> you don't think you're more important than the button? I mean, that's up to you, right? He stood there and let her finish talking with the button. Some niggas just be too nice. Totally. Okay. What is going on with this no, hair, though? Oh, the hair, the nails. Okay. <laughs> Every she said all of it. I'm in song. Hold on. Bro, what's wrong with his hair? Nigga, he's just dreads. What's wrong with his hair, though? No, 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 I'm actually mad about that, bruh. What? This is a regular hairstyle, bruh. What's going on with his hair? That means, like, you've never seen that hairstyle before. How have you never seen dress? Who said that? You don't know, what is going on with his hair, though? It was her right here. Shotty, hold on. The hair, the nails. Okay. She said all of it. Bruh, I'm not gonna say nothing, bruh. I'm not gonna say nothing, bruh. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing, but shut up! Shut up! Bro, I ain't gonna say nothing! I'm not gonna say nothing, bro. I just feel like sometimes, bro, like, you gotta just, sometimes you just gotta shut up, bro. Sometimes you just gotta shut up. Sometimes you gotta go to work. I feel like if if you was at work, you wouldn't have had time to say that shit. Talking about all of it, bro. Like, shut your head. What's up with this table, bro? It's an it's a, it's a open bottle of orange juice. Bro, don't give me no damn orange juice, bro. Like, what's, why is everything open? Out like, of everything you could have given me to drink, don't give me no orange juice. That would have set me off the edge, bro. I hate orange juice. Only just look at orange juice and tell it's nasty, bro. Don't give me no damn orange juice. We grown as hell. Don't give us no orange juice. Are you serious? I'm in software engineering, bartending. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. What do you do? I have a dream of being a bartender. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. What's your, what, okay, what's your go-to drink? Um, why is this nigga talking like Drake? I don't know. He sound like Drake to me. My go-to drink is probably a margarita right now. I make the best margaritas. Ooh, yeah. do you? Uh, okay. Like, 
Oh, yeah. Are you circumcised? Are you serious? I don't even know what to say, bro. Except for the fact that this nigga has his sunglasses hanging from his chain. I feel like this nigga might be overly rich. Like, this nigga might just have too much money. Because, like, you're just doing shit with your stuff. You're just doing shit with your chain, bro. That's not the point. I'm trying to escape the point. I am. I'm trying to, I'm trying to forget. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to act like that didn't happen. I'm over here talking about this man's chain. Nobody give a fuck about his chain. I'm trying to escape. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to run away. I don't know what to do. I got to face it. I got to face it. We gotta face it. We we're gonna face it, gang. You're with me. I don't. I don't really. I don't really want to know. You know. I don't really want to know. I'm a visual thinker. Do I have to go any farther than that? I don't think with words. I think with pictures. Right. Since I, since I done brought it up, I already. I already. I'm suffering right now. I'm suffering. Are you suffering? there. Shut up. You need to shut up. I don't like you, bro. I really don't like you in that stupid ass hat. That's a stupid ass hat. I hate hats like that, bro. I hate the little hat where you can fold the brim up. You look insane. You look like somebody drew that hat on top of your head, bro. You look like that's an illustration. You look like an illustration. You look like a doodle. It's not a drawing, a doodle. You look like a doodle. I don't like her at all, bro. Look at the shirt. Like, what's going on? You really ain't got no room to talk, gang. I know for sure you're the only one in the room with the orange juice, bro. I know you got orange juice, bro. Shakira does not like a man who's uncircumcised. <laughs> These are the facts that she gave to the button. I think niggas are realizing, like, if I give them crazy facts, they're going to let me on. Like, I'm going to get selected if I tell them the craziest thing I can tell them, bro. Look at him. Look at the face of regret. You can tell when somebody is replaying something in their head. He's replaying it, thinking about how it's going to look on camera. It looks ridiculous, gang. <laughs> I respect you for not laughing, bro. They gave them orange juice, too. This is cruel and unusual punishment. These are grown-ass adults. Don't be giving me no orange juice. And they better be glad I don't run the button because some shit will get you banished. Whoever said that would have got banished, banned, abolished. You wouldn't have been allowed there anymore just because I said so. Thank you for not laughing, bro, because they're trying to seem all relatable and friendship and, like, brotherhood. And, oh, we're laughing. We're having fun back here. And you didn't laugh. I love that about you. No, yeah, I'm circumcised. That's what you told us <laughs> when you signed up? They were like, tell, tell me about yourself. I can't oh have a man who's gosh. uncircumcised. Okay. <laughs> You've had a bad experience with I someone. Have. Like, I have. Can you stop interrupting him? Damn. I want to hear about it, to be honest. You don't have to. You don't have to talk about it. No, we can yeah. act like, <laughs> like nothing doesn't happened. know. Like, How do you feel? He's too nice. I told y'all he's too nice. I'm really upset about that, bro. I'm really upset this nigga didn't button her, bro. And them chairs look really uncomfortable. Feel about kids. I have a child. You have a child? I have a child. Is that your like deal breaker? Oh. Uh, you don't date people with kids? It's my last relationship. She had a kid and it kind of like deterred me away from like that kind of lifestyle. If you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. what was the like hang up? 40 hours of my week is worth. Uh, wait, what are you gonna say? <laughs> I'm bored, bro. I just don't care. You know what I'm saying? I just. I don't care. So I would be like the babysitter? No. Yeah, kind of got a little confusing when it came to the topic of discipline. Mm. Was she a gentle parent? Uh, yeah. She's acting so interested, like, oh, no. What? Okay. Yeah, and he was spoiled because of it. Okay. Thank you. I'm I, think no, I was also enjoying my Thank you is crazy. I don't care how sweet you were. I don't care how cool you were. Thank you after you butted me. You're not. Thank you. Actually, think about it. I used to always say if I got button, I would flip the table, but that would just make it so much worse. No way you flip the table. Bruh. Y'all, I turned red so easy. Look at my hand. Like, what happened there? I wasn't doing nothing, but, like, my hand was, like, touching a corner. Like, it was just, like, I was just kind of holding the corner of, like, oh, yeah. Point was, I'm not saying thank you, bro. And I'm not getting up either, though, bro, because I feel like, that's you that basically you're summoning me away like you're banishing me you know uh, yeah, yeah no but... <laughs> don't be sorry don't be sorry at all yeah. you're next i i guess I don't want to <laughs> i'm digging the blue thank you what's your name anita tristan nice to meet, cool. <laughs> meet you nice to meet you why are they being so mean to him and you i'm not even gonna say anything bro i'm not gonna say nothing i'm actually not gonna say nothing 
I don't like how they doing him, bro. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just, the Sonic profile is just insane. It really is. It's like a bicycle helmet. It's falling off your head. Yeah. So something they say we shouldn't talk about on dates Ooh. is money and politics. Ooh. But on Spicy. my dating show, I like you to do. talk about both. Okay. Can you shut up? You know how like there's that one song <clears throat> that goes like, it's not about the money, money, money. Mm. You uh, forget about the prize tax. So you don't care about money too much. Oh, uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you know the song? Shut up. What you sing the song for then, gang? It's not about the money. Forget about the prize tag. Then to turn around and say that's not what you weren't saying, it's not about the money. What? Why did you sing the song then, bro? You're trying to get your little viral moment and be a meme. You think a nigga's gonna turn you into an icon? Nigga's gonna think, find her. She's such a mood. Absolutely no one said that about you, gang. Okay, I really don't like you, bro. I don't like how they doing him, bro. That's just how you know somebody really think they look good, bro. When you start busting into song randomly, you think you look good, bro. You know you do, because you just start, you just too overly happy. You just too excited. Oh, you just doing shit. You just throwing a ball up in the air and catching it for no reason. Like, you think you look good as hell, bro. And you smacking on your gum ridiculously. That nigga think he look great. You chew gum differently when you think you look good, bro. You really do. Her just randomly busting into songs, she really thinks she got that shit on, number one. And she thinks she really just, you know what I'm saying? Giving like, oh, giving is crazy. I am about to say she thinks she's giving face. I don't know why, where I got that from. That's Twitter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think only rich people say money doesn't matter. Right. Money gets you clothes, food, gas, rent. Mm -hmm. Like, so, so I what do you do? Ooh, I work at Mercedes Benz. Oh, you're a I'm in car. Sales. Yeah, you're in sales. I've never heard anyone say they work at Mercedes Benz. But look, bro, you know my whole stance changed on that, bro. The little money doesn't matter thing. I used to say like people who say money doesn't buy happiness sound stupid, but I feel like. I kind of see where they're coming from, bro. Money doesn't buy happiness. It definitely makes life easier. And of course, you want to be sad and rich and sad and broke. I still believe that part. But money doesn't buy happiness, bro. It does. If you're not happy already on the inside, like if you're not, if you're not mentally good, if you're not already happy, money is not going to make you happy. It's going to make your life easier. But if you're broke on the inside, it's just not going to fix the inside, bro. Yeah, it doesn't fix the inside. Yeah. Make some good money. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. The Tristan, facts. are you okay if your partner makes more money than you? If they don't hold it above my head. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about guns? I've had a lot of fun with guns, yeah. but I don't understand the obsession with them. Yeah. You can do whatever. You can have your guns. Don't shoot anybody. Oh, yeah. Don't affect me. Don't affect, uh, like, negatively on other people. <laughs> She talked all that shit, bro. Look how the tables done turn, bro. Look at how the tables done backflip somersaulted. Look at that, bro. You talked a lot of shit, gang. You did. I don't want to date him. What's up with his nails? But look at, look at the scene in front of our faces. Mid-sentence. Look at the smirk on this nigga's face. I'm so happy for him right now, bro. He wins. He won. You lose. He wins. Oh, no. I just don't see, like, the romantic spark. Yeah. That's what was missing. You're not truly happy. <laughs> yeah, that layoff, she, she can't believe it happened like that. I ain't gonna lie. She can't believe it. This is weird. Why am I too nice? That's what I told you. I'm too fucking nice. No, I don't blame it on that. You was not too nice. You was feeling him, bro. You was... You was into that conversation, bro. What's your name? Rashida, nice to meet you. Rashida. Rashida, I don't like you, gang. Hopefully he button your look. Oh! I don't like her with that stupid ass hat! Tristan, nice to meet you. Are what? you originally from Seattle? No, I'm from the Bahamas. So tell me a little bit about you, though. Like... I go for really long walks. I'm not quite like a hiker, but I like to walk around the city. Wow, that's really like the opposite of what I do. Uh, what, what do you do? I'm very much like a homebody. I like... Mm. I do that too though, y'all. I be walking around the house. like Especially when I'm listening to music, I just walk in circles, bro. I'm cooking, so I spend a okay. lot of time in the kitchen. And I be going on long walks, bro. And my little ugly, I be going on walks with my little stupid ass. <laughs> I, be going, I do be going on walks, bro. No, am I just getting older? Like, what is that about? Like, what is that? Why am I taking walks? Taking a walk is OD, bro. Why are you taking walks? Why am I taking walks for, bro? I mean, niggas can't take walks. I don't know how I feel about that now that I said it out loud. It's not going to stop me. I'm still going to take my walks, but it's just like... I really be out here taking walks. My little legal ass be taking a walk. <laughs> stupid ass going on a walk. My little stupid ass. Oh. She pressed the button. She pressed the button. Let's go. 
I don't know, but she is really comfortable in the blue. Like, this is how you would lay on your couch at the crib. Like, she just said, fuck it, bro. Like, how long have they been back there? Because she done got overly comfortable. You never get this comfortable in public, bro. Actually, this is probably something I would do. I don't know. I don't think so, bro. Because I would be too scared to fuck up my hair before I go on camera. Like, this is things she just don't give a fuck, bro. It was nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Not okay? No. I feel like... Shut up, bro. Oh, I'm so mad at her, bro. I'm so angry. Like, this is such a stupid jacket. Bro, why is the little pocket up here, bro? This is the stupidest shirt I've ever seen in my life. He was just a little too slim. And I'm just, I just wasn't feeling like his, like, hairdo. He was too slim? I don't know if I'm going to skip her part or what, bro. I really don't like her, bro. I really don't want to see, no I don't want to hear another word come out of her mouth, bro. She wanted him, like, who do you think you are, bro? Who are you really feeling like, bro? Like, who do you really think you are, bro? Not a dreadlock fan? I am. I have dated people with dreadlocks. I just didn't like his dreadlocks. I'm Jared. No one cares. Rashida, nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. So, fun fact about Jared. He actually likes to make weapons and play with them. What kind of weapons? Knives, restoring spears. Like, um, my family comes from Mindanao, which is a very indigenous headhunting part of, of the Philippines. So, I have a lot of old weapons, and I like the aesthetic of traditional weaponry. Jared, can you show us? I feel like this is an insane jacket. Martial arts moves? Yes, oh my please. God. Oh, oh. Actually, please. How about this? Hold on to my wrist and I'll show you something. Oh God, I don't think this is gonna go well. Bro. I don't. I think we should stop. Stop it, gang. Don't do this. You're about to do something you're gonna regret, bro. Okay. So leverage with wrist, and you can't really hold on to me, right? Okay. And I could, I could give you one of those. You know what I mean? Okay, gang. So we this we are scaring the hoes away, gang. This is what they mean. You're frightening them, bro. They're frightened. They're leaving. They're gone. Where did they go? Jared, what the hell? They're uncomfortable. We can't leave you alone with the women, bro. The vibes are leaving, bro. You're scaring them. They you look to the right. Jared was speaking with the women, and now the door is swinging shut. They left. We don't know what happened. They're gone. All of them left simultaneously. Jared, what the hell did you do? This is what Jared did, bro. Jared over there doing this shit. We're bringing back time out. Well, you're on red. We're bringing that back from kindergarten, okay? Your card is on red, okay? You get one more card, we're gonna send you away. I don't know where you're getting sent, but you're getting sent away. Outside of creating the weapons, it also mentioned playing with the weapons, mm -hmm. and I feel like I need to know a little more about the play board. It's kind of like if, a, if you build a car, you want to take it for a test drive, so that's how I express myself physically when it comes to the sort of thing. Here we go. Oh, oh no! Jared, Jared, it was just... This nigga right here is like on his knees. Like, it, I don't think it was that serious. I don't think it was that devastating that you're genuinely hitting your knees. This nigga, this is dick riding right here. This is the definition of dick riding. Wait, why'd you press me? I feel like a lot was being said, but not a lot was being said. But well, you need to shut up. He did say a lot, bro. He was just nervous, bro. He was just a little nervous, bro. And it's, I, it, I thought this was a hoodie, but it's a zip up jacket, which somehow makes it even worse, bro. He was nervous. Okay, it happens to the best of us, bro. You shut up. Answers were very vague. I wasn't getting yeah, to know get who that. you are. He literally was explaining down, though. Like, he... Bro, where am I getting this... Like, why am I speaking like that, bro? He was explaining down. You shut up! He was explaining, bro. He was doing a good job. Jerry, get up and leave her while she's talking, bro. Yeah. You're very cute. My name's Casey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I moved to Seattle from New York about a year ago, um, but I'm originally from the Caribbean. Okay. I like cooking. That's important. Food's everything. Casey, do you like to eat? Look at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good one, man. If you had to pick a food to describe your sex life, what food would it be and why? But this is just chatting, bro. This is just, we just saying stuff. We just saying words and hoping they make sense, bro. Ooh, but it would be something. It'd be something spicy, huh? Wet and messy. <laughs> bro, I'm just barely holding on, bro. I'm barely holding on, bro. I'm barely. <laughs> I'm barely making it through this video, bro. Like, some shit just... Uh, some 
shit just be uncalled for, bro. I told y'all niggas I, I got a visual mind, bro. I think in pictures, bro. I told y'all I think in pictures, bro. Like, I, I think pictures, like, pictures in my mind, bro. Like, they be in my mind, bro. The pictures be in my mind. I told y'all that, bro. Like, some shit just don't be, some shit don't be the answer, bro. That's all my stuff. <sighs> some shit just, I just get so tired, bro. I just, I just get so tired of shit like this, bro. It just, sometimes it just really just be throwing me off the edge, bro. It just, Sometimes you just don't say nothing, bro. Sometimes you just don't answer the question, bro. Sometimes you got to plead the fifth, bro. Sometimes you just got to say, I plead the fifth, gang. Like, sometimes you just don't say nothing, bro. Huh. <sighs> Shit, man. <laughs> she said, what? Leslie. Yo, this nigga right here is really finna blow me. Like, he just really giving me Steve Harvey, bro. I don't know why. Kids, do you like what, Messi? <laughs> I'll plead the fifth. I just said that. I just said niggas need to start playing. Bro, she's sinking lower and lower in the seat, bro. <laughs> Is she off a perk or something? Like, I don't think you're ever getting this comfortable in public, though. Like, look around you and then look at you, bro. <laughs> hey, I salute it. She actually so real for this, bro. <laughs> the whole orange juice container is gone. Like, it's not empty. It's just gone. <laughs> How would you describe your sex? I just said that. I just said niggas need to start playing the fifth. And he played the fifth. I don't know. How does that does it? Because I have not seen this video. I promise you, if I had seen this video before, it wouldn't y'all wouldn't be seeing it, bro. I would have never watched this shit twice, bro. Like, you know I'm a Scorpio. You. I'm nasty. It's not I'm nasty. nasty. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Ooh. That's a good question because it's not gonna replicate like my nastiness. I Shut up, bro. Someone I'm a Scorpio. I'm nasty. I this is probably just an LA boy. Y'all know who that nigga is? That little nigga who be posting the quotes on Instagram, that Justin L.A. boy nigga, I feel like this is him. I just feel like this is how I imagine him to look. This is how I imagine him to act. I imagine him to say shit like, I'm a Scorpio, I'm nasty. I imagine that to come from that nigga, bro. <laughs> I feel like this is the man behind the mask. I've been doing everything that I'm willing to do. You know what I'm saying? But I got it. Uh, <laughs> Ask her if you're her type. Am I your type? For sure. I like the teddy bear type, so okay. this is this is definitely my type. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel if someone called me that. If I was this nigga and someone called me the teddy bear type, I don't know how I would feel about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is you she see, she's attractive? She is attractive. She got a nice smile, Thank nice you. lips and stuff. I, yeah, Appreciate she's attractive. It. Are you ever cheating on somebody? I have not. Like, if you ask me, is the person across from me attractive? Like, I feel like if you take time to think about it, the answer is no. But I would be taking time to think about it just because I want to plan out what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it. I feel like I don't care about what they're going to say. It wasn't. I didn't. Never cheated. What does that mean? Never cheated. You guys weren't like She's never cheated, y'all. That's the moral of that story. I feel like I'm trying to escape this video, bro. Like, it really it really has done a number on me, bro. Give me a break, for sure. <sighs> right, oh, right. she got the fuck out. Get off of me, nigga. I don't know you, nigga. Like, you can definitely get off of me. Like, you're not falling onto me. You can definitely sit straight up, bro. Get off of me. He's trying to be like, oh my gosh, where and bro. Wow, he is so deep in thought, bro. He, he ain't said a word. Every time they put the camera on these niggas back here, this nigga ain't saying shit, bro. I think I have a way to help solve this. So I'm going to say a list of scenarios mm. and you'll each say true or false. People should be friends with their exes. False. False. Okay. Y'all going to hate me for my take on this, bro. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like it depends on the person, bro. Like, sometimes you just meet a really good per Okay. Yeah. I just feel like, bro, you can be friends with your ex and not want them at all, bro. Like, I feel like you cannot want somebody, bro. Like, okay, that's my ex, but, like, I don't want her, bro. Like, in no shape or form, gang. I feel like you can be friends with your ex if you truly don't want them at all, like. <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like you done cheated. Oh! Bro, right when I was finna cut it off. Oh, Brody, man. You cheated, bro, man. I never cheated. Yeah. She can cheat on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think nobody that bad. Gonna have to end today. Because we got no matches. Alright, bet. 
This is the first time I've ever seen an end and they know they got no matches, bro. I've never seen that before in my life, bro. That's crazy. This was this was one of them videos that was just ridiculous, bro. I think that proves it right there. This was a ridiculous video, bro. Hey, that was that video, bro. Almost brought me to tears. I ain't gonna lie, I'm so glad it's over with, bro. I don't know what it was about that video. It was just it was just terrible, bro. So I'm saying, hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. You see know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. So you'll see every single time I post. Comment, hashtag, road to 60K in the comment section if you're watching this far. If you are watching this far, if you listen to me talk right now, I appreciate you. I love you. That means more to me than you could ever know, bro. You really a real one. You know what my heart beat? It's been for y'all, man. And yeah, man, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm so for real.